North Korea fired two short-range ballistic missiles this morning. It's seen as an apparent protest against the arrival of a U.S. nuclear missile submarine to South Korea and the Allies' strengthening deterrence against Pyongyang. Our defense ministry correspondent Choi Min-jung reports. North Korea fires two short-range ballistic missiles in a display of discontent over Seoul and Washington's strengthening deterrence capabilities against Pyongyang. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff on Wednesday morning spotted that North Korea had launched two SRBMs, one at 3.30 a.m. and the other at 3.46 toward the East Sea from the Sunan area. The JCS confirmed that both flew around 550 kilometers before landing in the East Sea. Experts believe that they are presumed to be the North's Iskander-type SRBMs, known as the KN-23. The North Korean version of Iskander is a ballistic missile but is known to have excellent accuracy as well as considerable precision and speed. And given the flight distance, it seems highly likely that it was a retaliation against Tuesday's arrival of a U.S. nuclear-capable submarine in South Korea's port city of Busan. If you rotate the flight direction southward while keeping the same distance of 550 kilometers, the missiles would reach Busan. North Korea is demonstrating that it could use its tactical nuclear weapons to target the southern port. Experts also say the possibility of the regime strengthening its military provocations in the future is very high. Ahead of the upcoming Korean War armistice anniversary on July 27, the regime must show its people not only its economic achievements, but military achievements as well. Following the launch, the presidential office held a meeting led by the second deputy national security advisor to monitor the security situation. The JCS also strongly urged the regime to end its provocations. We strongly condemn North Korea's successive ballistic missile launches as they are serious provocations that harm peace and stability on the Korean Peninsula as well as internationally and are in clear violation of UN Security Council resolutions. The regime's latest missile launch is also widely anticipated to be a response to Seoul and Washington's first nuclear consultative group meeting held on Tuesday. Choi Min-jung, Arirang News.